Jim? Uh, well, I was just speaking of interacting with the people. There's somebody here that uh, thinking you're siding with the government communists. <laughs> And I thought you might want to dialogue with them to clear yourself up. He's saying, I've been here since Adam's days of protesting the Iraq war with veterans. And I never thought I would ever see him side with big government communists. Yeah, I don't know what, the, what that's well, even referring saying, to. His first comment was, if you actually cared about individual liberty and capitalism, you would be defending the small business owners, not the thugs burning them down. Oh, okay. So, you know what? There was, th this, is, this is not the first person I've, I've, heard confused about the position i took when we did the blackout tuesday show from last week and yeah i'm i'm i, like I said i don't support this right. like i i don't like i do i have to come out and say like yes i support a small business owner being able to defend their business and not have it violated no like i'm like hello uh, i'm i'm a propertarian libertarian like do i do i really need to come out and say that um, and, and I made the point in a way that I think that there are a lot of libertarians and I'm going to, this is like, I'm, I'm going to start, I'm going to grab a third rail here about libertarians and racism because there are a number of libertarians who really are on the sort of anti BLM side of this because they, like they, 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 there's, there's a sort of a weird reactionary streak right now where we see racism used as it, as it usually is uh, as a divisive political tool, but in a new way now. And I, I, I would, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm totally with the people who, who are, you know, making, making this point that um, the, legitimate grassroots anti-racism activism is being manipulated to serve a leftist big government agenda i would i would even but that doesn't mean like if the communist party came out and said we need to legalize recreational pot across the board so that the state can tax it and and we can have full socialized medicine you wouldn't come out and be like no we should keep pot illegal so that you can't have cannabis sponsored communism it's like no no you have you have to be able to separate these concepts, right? It's one thing to say communism and another thing to say we should be legal. You know, if you combine those, combining those and the bad thing, that's the problem, not the, the weed should be legal part. And so when I say that, you know, I, I can I can tell a looter, you know, like if you're stealing, you know, like it's, and I talked about, I use Target as the example. Like it's not small businesses that, are that don't have like who's allowed to stay open or who was allowed to stay open during like the whole business shutdown it wasn't like the, it wasn't the mom and pop shops it was the essential businesses chain grocery stores and walmarts and targets right and so if, if you're like yeah if you're forced out of work and they're they're paying into the system that's holding you down yeah I, you know and, and if it's if it's a small the only time i would say it was even remotely possibly justified for a looter or a riot or a protester to go after a small business is if they know that it's one which is sponsoring the police or co cooperating with or encouraging the police as a terrorist organization in your community to you know, right like and even then i said i don't support it i said it, it might be ethically justified that doesn't make it a good thing i didn't say there was the right thing to do you know, like libertarianism and, and, and eth you know, is, is an ethical philosophy. Ethics only prescribes, uh, you know, a certain line that, that describes human relationships. It's not a comprehensive guide to what is good and what is bad. So, like, siding with them? No. No. Like, saying that they're justified in doing one thing that I actually disagree with. Yeah, okay. okay. But yeah, there's, there's this segment of society today that is mostly not libertarian that has these ideas of a kind of anti-anti-racism reactionaryism and it's like well there's a white genocide and it's like yeah well, white people face unique challenges to being white people too okay fair enough you know or 
you know, uh, black people are actually actually have it better than 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 whites in regards to police relationships. Like, uh, yeah, okay, you can tease that out of the statistics by some metrics if you want. Well, black people kill more black people than white people because it's all black on black crime, and even black on white crime is worse than white on black. Like, yeah, okay, but the, you know, like that that's not a reason to to not pay attention or or ignore the real problem of systemic racism in America. So like in this sense I'm I'm kind of in between, you know, and um I don't know, I like I like poking at both sides, I guess, to get them to give up their unreasonable positions. And uh I knew that I was gonna trigger like Ryan Ramsey. Ryan Ramsey I think is the is well I have I have a few friends and there's the you you might that, that might be like described as alt rightish libertarian-ish, libertarian-leaning alt-writers, perhaps. Um, you know, I'm friends with everybody. I'm friends with people from, you know, of all different, you know, ideological perspectives. Uh, so, of course, I'm going to... And it's funny that people freak out. Well, you're friends with this guy who's close to you, but he's also a racist. And it's like... I'm friends with people who are racist and nowhere near me on the rest of my politics. <laughs> like, really, And I'm not... You know, my friends with racists. I'm not like supporting them being racist or anything. Uh, anyway, did I beat that horse sufficiently to death? <laughs> All right, well, hold on. We, the CJ wants to give me another comment here. John, come on, man. To be honest, they didn't burn down open businesses. They burned down any business in their path, including small bookstores. Yeah, well, I'm totally against that. I, I never said I supported that. Like, never. I never, ever said it was justifiable or in any way supported the damages to businesses that have nothing to do with the police state. Why are you bringing up racism in relation to me talking about communists burning down private property while literally calling for communism? You can be against cops while not supporting commies. Well, I'm definitely against cops and not supporting commies. I'm, I'm doing both those things. So why, why would I bring up racism now? Okay, so John, now if you're if you're giving a slightly different angle on this, that's great because you know we were talking about, and I, I maybe I falsely assumed that you meant the context of the BLM protests in general. Now, if you're talking about Antifa communists or the, you know those specific infiltrators with that specific intent of just damaging businesses and, and causing chaos, and their messages Antifa anti-fascism, I don't support any of that. It's baseless, groundless, unethical from the ground up. Not calling for any kind of legitimate justice. Um, except on, you know, you know, in, in their world, you calling for justice in lots of ways, but not in, in what they're doing, not calling for communism. So there, I, I'm, I'll sign the pledge that Tom Woods wouldn't. I'm anti-racism. I'll sign the pledge that Nick Sarwar wouldn't. I'm anti-racism-based bully. I'm like, yeah, I'm anti-communism. Like, I just, this is, like, you know what, John? Fuck you. No, oh, uh, shit, I was supposed to, you know, no, 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 really, for bringing this up, because this is a kind of, like, you, you know, and I don't mind the question. I'm happy to take the question and, and get into this kind of thing and, and explain my position. And, and, and John, honestly, you know, I appreciate it. But, I, but what, you, what you're doing is, is a kind of dishonest tactic of, like, can I get you to assert a position that sounds like mine by saying, but you sounded kind of like this and making me go, oh, no, I'm completely against that. You know, and it's it's kind of a manipulative way to like to, to bring people more in your direction rhetorically, right? It's kind of like that weasel phrase. Some people say, you know, Adam. Some people have said that you're you're not really sufficiently anti-communism. And now what you've done, like, no, I'm pro freedom. I'm pro freedom, pro freedom, pro freedom. And you go, but Adam. Some people say that you're not sufficiently anti-communist. And I have to come out and say, I'm anti-communist. I'm so anti-communist. I, I'm I bleed the opposite color of red. What, you're like I'm so anti-communist. I killed one this morning in my pajamas. You know, like I just whatever. Like, and now I'm not pro freedom anymore. I'm anti-communism. You just took me off my message, right? And we have the space for that. But like, what? Like, no. so on, on a bigger platform or on a, you know in a shorter format, obviously here we're way more casual. We encourage challenging questions like this. You know, we're gonna have more fun with these kinds of things. But, um, yeah, I got to point out that that's, it is kind of a weasel, a weaselly manipulative tactic, if you will. Are you really anti-communism? Yeah, okay. <laughs>